This is do uh, there's a song that said the Lord will make a way somehow. Anybody know that? Can we do it? <laughs> I need you to act like we are 
Jesus because if I love Jesus I don't need no Stella Ward come on and say amen in the room because there's a lot of people singing and they're going straight to hell but I made a choice I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back yeah. oh y'all ain't y'all don't like this this her type of church this her type of church this her type Oh, my seer. I need somebody to wave your hand and say, Thank you, Lord. Say, Thank you, Lord. Say, Thank you, Lord. For one more thing. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. It could have been me. So you, about, you, you may as well crank the truck, dog. We might have to, we might have to take a dash out of here. 
Let me show you how good God is, mama. So 8 o'clock this morning, I sang in Dublin at his church. Come on, say amen. Y'all ain't going to talk to me in this house. Pastor had 8 o'clock service. He's also the pastor of a, a 10 o'clock service. He went there, told the members hi, and came with me to the 11 o'clock service. God moved so much in the 11 o'clock service, he drove me to this service. And that's a whole pastor. Come on, say amen. See, the problem with the church is we done got bougie with God because we've been off for two years. But now, since you've been at church so long, if you took a chance to come to church, you may as well have church. I don't care nothing but no COVID. I don't care about no monkeypox. I don't even go to the zoo, so I ain't studying no monkeypox. But I came to give God glory. You don't know my story and what I've been through to get here. But my worship is for real. I told the church, Mama, I told the church at a concert. I told the church, said to tell you, I said, listen, God is calling the church to get back to him. If we get back to God, the world will get back to normal. Come on, say amen. Y'all done been home too long. But y'all look at your neighbor and say, we outside now. Say, we outside now. And since we outside we may no well give God praise. Since we are saying, we may no well praise the Lord. Since we are saying, we may no well give a thank you. You want to point at your neighbor and say, neighbor, says, since you outside, give him a praise. Yeah! Yeah!
What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? They ain't gonna talk about me. Saying I don't know how to act. Pastor said to me, Pastor said to me, she said, the Lord is moving. So whatever you want to say to the church, go ahead, preach, do whatever you got to do. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. But you know, I ain't never scared. Come on, say amen. Come on and tell God, thank you. And the Lord was speaking to me just the other day. I was concerned. I said, I said, Lord, can I be honest? I said, I know you, I'm a survivor. I survived COVID. I died over three times. I was on a ventilator for 13 days. I said, the doctor told me, he said, he said, you are a miracle. He said, he said, we tried everything medically to save your life. Now, I wasn't scared when she told me to, you know, preach say something because what I want the church to know is don't let YouTube fool you. I'm saved for real. And what I want you to know is it's not that I'm going to sing it just so happen I preach. I'm a preacher. It just so happened I sing. Come on and say amen. amen. And I'm going to give y'all what the Lord gave me the other day to encourage me. I said to myself, and myself said, huh? I said, this pandemic has been, it's been hard. But he encouraged me. He said, things do not always go as planned. He said, life is full of ups and downs. Frustration, irritation, agitation is always going to be around. This is what I wrote down. So I know this is God. I was saying it to myself. And I said to myself and myself said, huh? It said that sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Even in uncourageable moments. And I said, Lord, well, I know you just won't speak to me and not seal it with your word. Come on, say amen. And the Lord told me, he took me to the book of Galatians. Six and nine. And mama, it says, and let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season. We shall reap if we faint not. And the Lord told me the other day. He said, if you believe, you shall receive. And I want to tell you what he told me. And I want you to look at your neighbor real quick. And don't, don't let your mask be your mouth. But say, neighbor. Say, I got a word for you. And say, the word is, don't pass out. Look at somebody else. And say, neighbor. I got a word for you. Say, don't pass out. Don't give up. You shall reap if you faint not. I ain't got no help in the church. Some of y'all getting weary. Some of y'all getting worried. But I heard the Lord say, don't pass out. But hold on just a little while longer. Everything, Lord, I gotta get out of here. I said everything. Lord said that they brought me. I didn't come. I said everything gonna be all right. See, yeah. I wonder can I get a witness? I promise you, I'm trained in homiletics and isoletics. 
I know how to cross my tea. <laughs> I promise you I'm not a done ma. <laughs> but I don't got time <laughs> to baby find the text tonight. <laughs> but can I go on to my hoop? <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> After a while, crocodile. <laughs> but before I leave here, <laughs> I want to tell somebody <laughs> that all you got to do <laughs> to not pass out tonight <laughs> is trust the process. <laughs> Now, I came out of Baptist church, and in the Baptist church, after we go back to the text, we give three points, we hoop and we sit down, but can I escalate this thing and go into my three little points? Okay, I got to get out of here. I've been going since eight o'clock, and I'm mighty tired now, but I ain't tired yet. Oh, come on and tell God, thank you. Oh my God, the first point I want to tell you, oh Lord, is you got to trust the process. There's strength for every struggle. And Jesus said, he said, Lord, I'm with you always. Oh, come on and say yes. Oh, come on and tell God, thank you. Even to the end of the world. The second point I want to tell you, is you got to trust God. And the scripture said, if God be for us, who can be against us? Oh, come on and she yes. He said, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me every man. According to the work it shall be. And I got one more point that encouraged me. And I wanted to encourage you. He said, trust you. Tell your neighbor, trust yourself. Now, I know you're a mess, but you can trust yourself. Because if you've been in this thing long enough, and your mountainside has been rough, the struggle is getting ready to be old. Oh, well, come on and see, yes. You got to know your purpose. You got to know that God got something for you. And he told me to tell you that the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. And for whom he foreknew, he predestined, he also called. Oh, come on and see, yes. He chose you. He didn't just call you, but he qualified. He didn't just qualify you, but he justified you. Oh, come on and say yes. Somebody might say to me, small, sir, how am I qualified? And my life is a mess. How am I qualified? And I do all this wrong. Well, I got good news for you. Jacob was a cheater. Peter had a temper and David had an affair. Noah got drunk. Joel ran from God. Paul was a murderer. Gideon was insecure. Miriam was a gossip. Marriage, marriage. Martha, she worried. And Thomas was a doubter. Sarah was too old. And Abraham was old too. Lazarus was dead. But he answered the call. And that's all I came to tell you. If you keep on living, the just shall live by faith. Oh, come on and see. Yes. I got to get out of here. I got to leave here. But I came to tell you that if you stay focused on God, you'll get the glory out of your life. Oh, come on and see it. Yes. Oh, come on and tell God, thank you. Come on and shout hallelujah. Come on and tell God glory. I come to tell you, don't pass out. I said, don't give up and don't give in. Mama, I know it's been hard. Mama, I know it's been rough. But when the going gets tough, when the going gets rough, you got to make this journey for Jesus somehow. Tell your neighbors, say don't pass out. Say don't give up. Say don't give in. If you get weary, it's gonna be alright. You gonna reap if you faint not. If you believe it, clap your hands and say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. I don't, I don't, 
that's what he told me. I, he said, he said, listen, I made you some promises. I began to challenge God. I said, God, you promised me some stuff. There was even some money he promised me. And he said he was going to do it before a certain time. My spirit got vexed because some folks walked away that hurt me bad. Because I know what I've been to them. And after they walk away, they allow people to even form an opinion that was a lie. I don't care how mad you is with somebody, the truth will make you free. Even if you're angry with me, don't let nobody sit and dictate what they think about me when you know what you know, even if you're mad. Come on, say amen. And the Lord told me, he said, I couldn't release that money to you because if I gave you the money too early, you would have took the wrong folks with you up. I come to encourage about seven people that are scream when I say this. It's not that God was slack concerning his promise. He had to let some folks hurt you so you can let them go, so he can help you. Because the truth of the matter is, there's some people that you feel like you can't make it without. They done bust you upside your head, they done hurt you, there's a liar, there's a cheater, but your heart can't get over the separation. And so God said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let that joker hurt you so you, I can help you. But you got to look at your neighbor and say, it feel bad right now. He said, my heart is hurt. And my soul is broken. But I'm encouraging somebody right here. That you gonna see the goodness, except you believe. Well, come on and see a man in the house. And I promise you, even when you feel like it's, it's almost to the point of you about to pass out, don't pass out. Don't give up. He's gonna give you a double for your trouble. And this blessing that God getting ready to give you, you ain't gotta scratch nothing. Come on. Oh, my seal on my soul. You ain't got to be concerned about a, a mega ball, power ball, a basketball, football. All you got to do is fall on your knees and say, Father, I stretch my hand to me. No other help I know if thou cross my hands. I promise you, I'm, 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 I'm trained. I know order. And I would never, I've done, I would have told Mother no and got rebuked later. But I felt the unction in the release. Because there's some things that God promised me and my yes is going to get me closer. I've never seen so much arrogant Christians that know you struggle and strain him. Come on, say amen. But you will humble yourself to tell God, all right, listen, it's out of my hands now. Listen, you do. I lift up my trust. Come on, say amen. The money saying, God, we trust. What about you? Don't pass out. Nobody told you the road would be easy. Don't believe. He brought me this far. Believe me now. A little song that come in my mind. That's so befitting in this message today. A little song that said it was I can't.
up. Some of y'all think all I can do is shoot me. kind of people see when God show up nobody get the credit program somebody change listen I'm old school to the bone and uh, somebody hollering over there I don't know who that is but that mean I got to do what he tell me to do I don't do no balls but mama did a little song they say you like and I'm gonna sing it today and say nine songs. Y'all pretty much know all of them. Don't fool me now. I ain't did this in years. Y'all can help them. It's a song that said, oh, God told no one. God told no one. Just to be just to be Oh. 
ain't eat nothing yet, man. You shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Come on, say amen. Y'all ready for me to go? I don't want to make you glad twice. Glad to see me come and glad to see me go. You enjoying it? Well, they're rushing me. I, I want to stay up here a while, but they're rushing me. Y'all ready for me to go? If you're ready for me to go, let me hear you say, yeah. Out of the mouth of babes, you hear me? Lord, have mercy. Yeah! If you don't say nothing else, you did all you did can today. Glory to God. Listen, let's get out of here. Can we go in the prayer room? Little room, little room, little room. Can we go in the room? Lord, they got me singing this song all over the country. But I'm in Hazel wherever I'm at today. We're going to do it like we do it. Come on, put your hand together. Lord, mercy.
Thank you.